Welcome back to Event Crawling Champion Yorick's Adventure. Though, as we proved last time, we don't actually need the vents as much as the vents need us. We're perfectly fine going without the vents and brutally slaughtering anyone within our path. Making them have heart attacks, like that bomb or that CDC agent. But we are on our way to Skyline Apartments. Because we have two things there that require our desperate attention. Both Mr. Durbin, who I am hunting for Arthur Kilpatrick back in Santa Monica, and a ghoul named Paul, who was, as Damsel said, looking like death the last time he swung by. Now granted, usually when people say that, it's in reference to vampirism in some way or shape or form, not ghoulishness. But that doesn't really matter much. Senor Paul is on our list of people to talk to, and that is a cop, and this has never turns out well for me. Sewers. That's probably how Nosferatu get in this building. Hey, you creepy bastard! That camera sets up in people's bedrooms and their bathrooms. Huh. Well, I don't know where Paul is, but he's nowhere in those places. Let's keep that off until we actually need it. I'm pretty good at hacking as it is. Ugh. Butch Rider. Creepy guy. Simon Milligan. Hmm. Milton. Uh, Milton. This where uh, Mr. Durbin is, isn't it? I'd have to check my notes, but I think so. That's probably who the other guy was. Georgia Welch. 9648. Let's see if I can remember that for later. <laughs> Whoa. Anything back here? No. Nah. I wouldn't have thought so, but hey, you never know. What was it? Apartment 3, 9648? Let's see how long we can go about this madness until the cops get called on us. Could have done me with some elevator music. Not a bad apartment.
What gets me is that despite the fact that it's always nighttime and there should probably be people at home, I don't think anyone's actually in any of these. No, well, nothing in there. We can solve that. Maggots love you. Trust me. Jewels. Now to actually find where the safe is. Lots of jewels. I'll take each and every single one of those. Huh? Crap. Am I about to get snitched on? Did I just get pinned by the Oh shit. Apartment 2 is where Mr. Durbin was. Well, I think I saw a vent in the basement, so I guess we could probably use that instead. And the security guard's going to be in apartment 3 for a while looking for someone who has quite literally disappeared. How did he know I was even up there? Floor one. Nothing here. A photo, huh? Is that? Yeah, it looks like a Nosferatu about to bite into some dude's neck. Bummer. Ectoplasm. <laughs> I hope you eat by some flesh eating bastard. Or monster, you bastard. Got angry guy with strong opinions. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, come on. There's a paranormal. Neat. Floor one. I don't know who was that. Is it something Milton or something? Hey, a couple of car stereos. This place is trashy. Where are you, Mr. Durbin? Kendo for advanced students. Can I use it? I cannot. One advantage a Tremere has, I think they're the ones that are pretty studious. Mages and all that. They get so many free skill points because of those damn books. Nothing under there, that was a useless gesture. Well, hell. I gotta report back to Arthur before I can even do this like a quest, it seems. That is annoying. Well, we gotta go back to Santa Monica anyway, so we can go to that damn boat. So we'll do that. Uh, that's three. Can't get the four. I'm guessing this is ball. One, two, oh, three. Well, that's lightweight. I just bumped into it. Wild room. At least, how, at least we figured out how the other guy managed to get all these cameras into these rooms. This is real simple. Well, I'll wager that this one does the same thing. We gotta go around. Yeah, though I do see sparklies. I think we can just jump down. 
I mean, we are vampires. Still, the security guard would hear us. Uh... Oof. We gotta go all the way around and take. Number four has been scratched out. I wonder if we can get that apartment to ourselves. Now elevator music once more. Elevator music is always the same too in real life, I mean. You ever notice that? Safe key. The vases in this apartment are considerably more bouncy than I would typically like. There you go. Oh! There's a lady. What was her name? Hannah something? Hey, how you doing? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You know, you look suspicious like that girl that I found in the hospital. Paul was blinded by the light. What? <coughs> Who are you? I'm gonna call the police. Let the veils of madness paint you a vision of Paul. Oh, Paul, I knew it was you. <coughs> I knew you'd come to take care of me. Yes, sweet little fly. Tell me of the sickened spider who bit you. Oh, Paul. You say the most beautiful things. Uh... You wanna know how I got sick? <coughs> how sweet of you to ask. Tell me your tale, little <coughs> fly. Her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. I can't seem to get it out of my head. Where was the web of this black widow? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't that remember place the number. <coughs> Paul, Certainly not floor really six. Like you. you were so nice to me the other night. I don't I don't meet a lot of guys like you. Hey, yeah, well, you don't meet very many guys like me at all. We will share many more of these moments, little fly. I hope so. I really do. <coughs> May your wings take you to higher places, little fly. <coughs> and then apparently she took 100 damage from, you know, the disease and died instantly. So she doesn't need what's in the safe anymore. Which is $200. How much we got? Oh, that's right. I spent a huge chunk of it on Mr. 44. Such a good investment. Oh, appointment book. What is this? Looks like a standard appointment book. Oh my god, Arthur Kilpatrick, she had the herb. Oh, Vandal. Bring pliers and the blowtorch. Yeesh. Vandal likes it rough. David Hatter, room 413 at the Lucky Star Hotel. He likes that weird umbrella and the water balloon thing. What does that mean? Simon Milligan, downstairs room. God, I hate that guy. Jezebel Locke. Hey. New client responded to my ad in the paper. She has a suit in the Empire Hotel. 
I don't know what to think of this one, but there's something about her. Her voice, I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pass it up. Paul Anderson. An honest-to-God date. I can't believe he asked me out. I'm so excited. Well, I hope you both enjoy it in the afterlife together. Remember, always wrap it up. Anyways, that's all we can really do here. I suppose we'll go to... I suppose we'll go to the Empire em, Empire Hotel. Or should I? I mean, I do have a date with those with the uh, ship in that harbor. Which I imagine I have to go back to the beach. I guess. I'm not really sure. Oof. But I mean, Jezebel Lock is literally right down the street in the Empire Hotel. And there's only two buttons on that thing I can remember being pressable. Six and five. And six just is not an option. So, the next time we get back, we'll be saying hello to Miss Locke and finding out what kind of horrible spider she is. Cemetery and how sticky off, her web might be. At the door. Yeesh, this is getting nasty. Anyways, farewell, vampire. Stop.